Hello children, I think all of you are fine, no? After you are having the new class, we can, last time we complete your chapter that is probability. I hope you are doing very good and hopefully you are smart on that chapters, okay? Go through again and again before your exam start and I'll, today we will start with a new chapter that is quadratic equations, okay? What do you mean by equations? Equation means uh, algebraic expressions where alphabet numbers are going hand to hand with their four fundamental operations. What is four fundamental operations? Addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. They are called four fundamental operations. With that, with algebra we need come include with the algebraic term like alphabets. So, that is expressions or algebraic expressions. Algebraic expression does not cons consider with what you call negative and fraction power like root x not possible root over number is possible root x is not possible clear so that's you keep it in mind I already explain that now quadratic equations the chapter says we start the quadratic means has to be degree 2 degree means highest power of the polynomial so say for an example a polynomial i am writing here polynomial poly means many polynomial say i am writing here ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d it may be 4x cube plus 3x square minus 7x minus 12 like that. So, what is the highest power here? There are no x means x power 0 is x power 1, 2, 3. The highest power 3 means degree 3. Degree 3. They are also degree 3. Okay. Degree 3. That means degree 3 is not a quadratic equation. It has to be degree 2, but here ax square plus bx plus c. This polynomial has degree 2. Degree means highest, highest power of the variable. What is variable? That is alphabet. Why they are variable? Because x can be changed as a number. If I say x equal to 2, x behave like a 2. If I say x equal to 3, x behave like a 3. So, they are very, variable are very, that is why we call variable, variable, ok. So, that is variable power if it is degree 2, here degree 2. Then if I write 3x square minus 1 by 2x plus 7 by 2, does not matter that they are rational or not, coefficients, they are the coefficients. And this is a constant term without x called constant term, coefficient of x, coefficient of x square. So, there does not matter is the fraction or not, but the highest power of the variable check is degree 2. So, degree 2, that means these are the equations have, uh, that is if you, it is a polynomial, how to make an equation? So, equation should be algebraic expression which have both side, negative uh, left hand side and right hand side, that means we have to put a something equal to 0, equal to 0, that is called a equation. If you say equal to 0, this is called an equation, otherwise it is a polynomial. So, when you say equal to something, not equal to 0 only, equal to something there is an e equation. So, which equation, see these two equations have degree 2. So, what you can conclude? Therefore, the equation have, you may be thinking what is this, E Q U A T I O N. The equation I write in short form E q up n that is called short form of equations. The equations have degree 2, degree 2 is called quadratic equations, quadratic equations understood? This is the full form E q u a t i o n equation. So, that one you write in short form E Q U N. Understood? The equation of degree 2 is called quadratic equations. That means they are quadratic, they are not quadratic equations. Now, from the expression, how you know it is quadratic or not? So, this is the one understood what is the definitions? Now, I come to the criteria to check. Your first exercise might have recognized quadratic equations with the mix some uh, mixing equations. For example, I will give you. So, x plus 2 whole square equal to 2 into x minus 2 or plus 2 for the matter. 
is it quadratic or not how will check it so you just apply a formula a square plus 2 a b 2 into a into b 2 x 2 that means 4 x plus 2 2 is a 2 square is 4 is a formula you understood no a plus b whole square formula what is that a square plus twice into a into b plus b square you can write or you can write someone write like this a square plus b square plus 2ab same meaning change the places only nothing to change so 2ab and 2 square is 4 and there you multiply it 2x and 2 twos are 4 so bring this side one side only x square plus 4x plus 4 minus 2x minus 4 equal to 0 you can easily cancel these also then no need to write this because of same sign same number lying on opposite side should be cancelled so now we are getting here x square plus 2x plus 4 equal to 0 so this is called a quadratic equation why the highest degree is 2 so we can say its degree equal to 2 so therefore it is a quadratic equation quadratic equation understood so please try to remember this way and some question I'll show you like this say here instead of this question same thing little I change x plus 2 whole square equal to x into x plus 2 either is quadratic the same thing I just change with the x look at this behavior of the answers 4x plus 4 x square plus 2x see the x square is cancelled we get 4x plus 4 minus 2x equal to 0 so it is 2x 4x and minus 2x so it will be 2x plus 4 equal to 0 so its its degree how much equal to 1 so it is not a quadratic so it is not a quadratic equation understood then what is this what is this actually when the is power is how much is power is one only highest power degree is one so that's why it is a linear equation understood linear equation and if power is three is a cubic equations if power four bi quadratic equation power four means bi quadratic equation so these are the type of the equations you can practice with the formulas the, you have to know the formula some formula I'll write for you this already wrote one formula I'll write some formula please practice with this say a minus b whole square formula is a square minus twice a b plus b square what is a square plus b square sometimes you require this it's a plus b whole square minus 2 a b or sometimes you can use this one also a minus b whole square plus 2 a b okay then another formula say a square minus b square it will be a plus b into a minus b so some formula you have to know to solve such type of questions this is already done so i'll give you more formulas please focus the formulas if possible to stop and take screenshot and print out keep it with you then a plus b whole cube it is a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus b q sometimes you can find this b q is here and other to the side no problem sometimes we can say or you can represent like this a cube plus b cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square someone can write like this a cube plus b cube plus 3 a b into 3 a b common into a plus b that way also likewise minus this one i can change into minus look at here if i make minus here this will be minus this will be minus so plus minus plus minus here there will be minus here it will be minus and here a cube minus b cube minus this also minus in case of minus only follow the minus sign different color i given you so you can easily to recognize clear so now some questions you have to learn you have to examine with the formula and to find it another two formulas i'll give you that is a cube plus b cube the formula is 
a plus b a square minus a b plus b square for factorize or for find the value also you can find this same formula it is a plus b whole cube minus 3 a b into a plus b when you find some values with a cube we can apply this formula and a cube minus b cube it will be a minus b a square plus a b plus b square for factorize this is for factorize i just mark and write here for factorize you can use this factorize okay this also factorize so you can apply this but others like a q minus this also a q minus b q no plus here a q minus b q it will be a minus b whole q plus 3 a b into a minus b that also for find the value you can apply so this such formula is there you have to apply you to remember then the problem will be some problem will have to apply this clear okay now some questions are you have to do with what do you call factorize factorize with quadratic equations i'll show you that part okay this one factorization solve by factorization solve what quadratic equations this is a topic maybe the next exercise 4.2 exercise you can get is that so how to this you have to go for splitting the middle term i think all of you know in class 9 or you can apply formula also i'll give you two ways so look at this if i write a question like 2x square plus x minus 10 equal to 0 10 or 6 6 yeah, 6 how to solve first you have to do splitting the middle term so these two multiply in the rough in the roughs 2 into 6 12 this 12 take lcm 2 6 uh, 2 3 uh, 3 1 and make the factor 1 2 3 4 so 1 into 6 6 2 into uh, 1 into 12 we have to get 12 here 12 12 then 2 into 6 is 12 how to get 2 and rest multiply 3 rest multiply 4 12 then 4 into 3 that is same repetition no stop when repetition start factors so you stop it and you find the numbers between this to this three pair of factors you have to find the middle term we call splitting the middle term split look at here or 2x square plus bracket x there is a what numbers we have middle term number is 1 if you not mention that is 1 you have to bring it here 1 by what addition or subtraction last sign is minus you have to put minus <coughs> okay always then two numbers give you one check here from the factor this minus this no this minus this no but this minus this one so write four minus three always bigger number first smaller number second okay so or two x square now open the bracket always multiply plus into plus plus four x plus into minus three x and minus six equal to zero after getting the four terms you have to make separate the group the group is like this this group this group the first two group what is common 2x so it is x plus 2 then minus which number common 3 and it will be x minus minus plus 2 equal to 0 so or the same is a common term x plus 2 and 2x minus 3 equal to 0 so product of two terms is 0 we cannot say 0 into 0 is 0 1 must be 0 then total result is 0 so what is then either either this zero or this zero we are not sure that's why you have to use the word either or either equal to zero so x equal to minus two or two x minus three equal to zero so two x equal to three x equal to three by two so what is the answer of x x equal to minus two and three by two this is a solve for factor factor solve means find the value of x or they can ask you like this find the roots roots means the value of x by factorization so you have to solve by factorization to find this okay some questions we can do by formula apply also i'll show you that part also okay this much is okay okay i'll show you some questions 
Look at here. If I write here, say 100x square minus 20x plus 1 equal to 0. I will write two sides and show you both the way you can do. Both are factorized case. Now look at here. I solve this one with the black ink here. So you can write or 100x square minus bracket x plus 1 equal to 0. So this plus means this is plus. 1 into 100, 100 no, this to multiply 100 into 100. So if you take LCM 100, it will be 250, 225, 55 like that, is not it? Which two can give you 20? Can you tell me? Addition, so 5 twos are 10, 5 twos are 10. You can make the factor like this, 10, 10 will come. Understood? So we will get it here, 100x square minus 10x, see minus plus minus, when you open the bracket, give minus. Multiply the outside sign to inside, okay? When you open the bracket, outside sign all the, it is plus or minus, doesn't matter. You have to make practice with multiplication, outside sign to inside sign, when you open the bracket. Minus plus, minus, minus plus, minus 10x plus 1 equal to 0. So you take common 10x, what will then? 10x, 10 tens are 100, common means divide, just divide these two. x one card, one left, minus 10 10 card, x x card, only one left. Now minus sign, no common here, when there is a no common, you have to consider 1. When there is a no common, you have to consider 1, okay? So now divide, 10 by 1, 10, minus, minus plus. Okay, you know the rule I think, minus into minus is plus, even minus divided by minus also plus, same meaning minus and divide. So now minus plus divided, you get minus, then 1 by 1, 1. After making these two bracket has to be same, if not same, something wrong here. So it is same means you are correct, okay. So these two bracket has to be same, even sign also. Then what is remaining, another one, 10x minus 1 equal to 0. So this is I took here common and the remaining one will be another bracket in a product form. So now I either or I like that okay either 10x minus 1 equal to 0. So 10x equal to 1 x equal to 1 by 10 or 10x minus 1 equal to 0. So x will be again it is 1 by 10. Now we come here these questions we can solve in this way also. First we think can you make whole square the last two and first two. Yes, we can make, it is 10 square 100 and x is 1 and not only that, you check, if you write here in the form of 2ab, 2 into a is a, you can see that, is b, you can see that, 10x into 1, is the, it, is, it is coming this or not, if it is coming, you can apply this, what formula we can apply, a square minus 2ab plus b square, sometimes a square plus 2ab plus b square, what is the formula, a plus b whole square or a minus b, because of this minus, it is a minus this a and this is b okay whole square equal to 0 how many times two times no so you write 10x minus 1 again 10x minus 1 why because it's a square see we reach the same level and after that we can follow this understood either and all so this is the way you can able to solve it understand or not is it clear so this way factorize using the middle term also we can apply formula if there is a possible to applications. Understood? So next class, you practice the next class, I'll show you some little harder problem. After that, I'll go to another two methods. One is complete completed in the square and quadratic formula. Clear? So thank you.